take your fancy <laughs> dancy shortcuts. Think I don't mind stretching my legs? <laughs> Catch up with you any guy my life. <laughs> 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 Get used to that trick. up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cave. Waiting on you, Flatter Fart. Whenever you want to die, I'm right here. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens. around see if there's a way to lift this lift. The dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Blot than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Well, I just learned this plane, Captain Guy. You just give me this. Now. On it!
Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Once more. Aye, aye. Again. an angle. Ain't this what you do? Hey, I got the cr what? If the angle you needed to find was down there, you'd have found it already. <laughs> New vantage point, brother. <laughs> ah, promising. Crank covered. You do the other stuff.
Got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Jump. Can we get up any higher from here? the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Riddle for you. 
What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stone to stone. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? <laughs> Think he understands us? Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the thing. <laughs> Hang on! I smell trouble. I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got two bucks on my buttons. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so nervous. <gasps> Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. everything in this dang city my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. If this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. Yes? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. 
Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb drop. Time goes by, there's less to do. You learn to keep it on safe. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure didn't give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? 
years, like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May they wield it with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without doing Look! We got volunteers! That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns! What well, hell! Ain't this just like old times here? I couldn't have put it more forebodingly myself. <laughs> what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Ah, oh, lick my face! There's eyeball left all over! Get your throwing arm in here! Oh, oh, Get the gang Don't just do it, 
The bigger, the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Until my balls are taking over them ground, we better beat them out. <laughs> <laughs> with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps mamia oh very well these are great fun maybe those crown will take you uh, nope. oh. and i know you you're the robots we're about to get clean! You don't got what it takes! Find you! Look out! What for? <laughs> <laughs> 
Can I see how? You'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a, has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. You're sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age. To break free. 
from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. <laughs> Drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a game. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. The war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the giants had you in mind all along.
Another carving from Yari and Soma. It is an ingredient from the recipe. How did they reach this realm? Oh, they were well versed in realm travel. You see, Yari was raised in a guardian warrior. Meant to fight in the family's wars. Find a wife. Die for glory. But he rejected it. He left. He followed his own path. I wouldn't be surprised if we found their mark in other realms as well.
Hmm. So this drop near Spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his. Nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Another berserker gravestone. Old. Prepare for a fight. After the old coward. Oh, the Yeah! 